everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily card reading for March 31st, 2021. So today I have kind of a charged feeling around this. What's the focus for today? Where do we need to work on some bit of energy or whatever? It's this buzzy, not a high frequency necessarily, but a buzzy kind of that irritates me. I'm enmeshed. I'm entangled. I have this fear. Where can you get your clarity? Focus on the clarity and you can't get to the clarity until you acknowledge what's going on over here. So this is Tourmalated Quartz. Get out of your own way. <laughs> right? Tiger's eye, overcome your fears. So there are quite a few things that will hold us up purely because we're afraid of not being accepted or we're afraid of not being loved. We're afraid of not being uh, appreciated. Okay? How many of us will not face our fears because we don't want any bit of self-acknowledgement about where we've gone wrong. We hide, okay? We do quite a bit of hiding because how much more can we possibly take? That's that. And we get in our own way when we're not willing to admit some level of truth to ourselves. When we are hiding who we are, hiding our vulnerability, I mean, this can keep great love from happening because two people are just too afraid to admit that they love each other, that they're feeling vulnerable, that they're scared <laughs> of the intensity of that connection. And some of you may need to hear that out there, and I understand you. I do. However, we cannot keep hanging on to those who do not choose us. That might be part of what you're overcoming today. For others, it might be a sense that you're not doing enough in this world. That you haven't accomplished enough. That you're not making enough money for your family. Or you just can't seem to release all that stress, no matter what vices you lean on. And yet for others, maybe you feel like you're never allowed to be in pain. Maybe you feel like you, you're never allowed to say how you feel because someone will come in and slam you and say, you're being a victim. You're not looking at this fairly. Yeah, but what about me? How many of you out there, comment down below, how many of you out there feel like you never get to voice how you feel uh, without it being diminished, disregarded? And how many seconds does it take before someone brings it back to them? Now, I'm not talking about people who are just trying to help you feel empowered, okay? I'm not talking about people who are just trying to help you see a way through because sometimes we do need to release the pain in order to move on, right? <laughs> you may have heard about this. I don't know. Uh, so sometimes people will come in and they try to empower you and remember, you know, helping you remember that you can lift up, you can lift out of this. Those people are trying to help. When someone is just trying to disregard your pain, they're just saying, no, get over it. You might be going through a dark night of the soul moment and they're like, oh, come on. When's it going to get back to me? <laughs> That's an extreme example. Not everybody does that. But I'm just saying, you know, where do you feel invalidated? And what can you do for yourself? That's part of what gets us entangled. Here are all these experiences that maybe we've never had a chance to talk about. Maybe we were afraid. Maybe we got too upset when we talked about this. Maybe this is too terrifying. But with these two together, the assignment, if we want to see it as an assignment from the angels for today, is to be honest with ourselves. What bothers us? And this isn't about complaining. Oh, my husband bothers me. I, let's go deeper. I posted a question, what keeps you up at night? And the answers were very surprising. <laughs> the biggest one was anxiety. I guess that one's not that big a surprise. But some others took it quite literally. Okay, someone comment. I, I don't have it pulled up in front of me. I thought it was the most adorable comment ever <laughs> because I'm pregnant. That keeps me up at night. 
adorable. Honey, I love you. I, I wish I had that pulled up right in front of me so I could tell you who commented that, but it was adorable. My love to you and the little one. Uh, <laughs> and congratulations. But, you know, some of the, they, people did not really think very deeply about it. And that was a beautiful thing because that showed me where the audience is. Very fearful. Fear. I'm scared too. I'm scared of never being with the love of my life. I'm scared I'm not going to be able to take care of myself. I'm constantly afraid I'm not doing enough for others and therefore not living my purpose. I'm always afraid that I'm going to go out and have a bad interaction with another human being. Now that seems silly. Why would I be fearful of that? Because I don't like having bad interactions with fellow human beings. I want us all to get along, be sunshine and rainbows, okay? <laughs> I know that's not reality, but if I'm being honest about things that are upsetting to me, I'm usually afraid to be disappointed. And so where does that lead me? It leads me to avoiding, getting entangled in making sport of avoiding. And does that hold me up? Yeah, <laughs> sure does. So it is time. Ooh, codes. Whenever this comes up, pay attention because this is an, an ascension moment. Yes, hiding. We were saying we're still hiding. Jophiel, wisdom, beauty, and Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> You guys, I have a breaking weather alert. Warm and windy tomorrow. Are we all okay now? Terrific. Michelle, turn your phone off. <laughs> okay. Sorry about it. <laughs> She's professional over here, I swear. All right. <laughs> so we have Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is, again, all about nurturing and helping you feel okay with facing the things that scare you and igniting your creativity, your creative life force, creating that next chapter of your life. We talk about that all the time, but let's get down to it. What does that really mean? You can't just sidestep your issues. Now, you're here as a human to experience those issues. We can pretend that we're all better, nothing bothers us, so on and so on. <laughs> but guess what happens? It comes back, all right, if you don't take care of it. Now, I love that Archangel Jophiel has shown up here. This Archangel, and a focus for us today, is in the crown chakra, higher wisdom, and seeing the beauty in you. No, 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 let's go deeper. Find the beauty in all the nonsense you're going through. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I recently had... I won't go too far into it. Let's call it a dating snafu. <laughs> or I had a dating incident where someone disappointed me. And I was really upset by that. And, you know, my entanglement around love issues, been going on my whole stinking life, uh, my entanglement <laughs> around love issues, that's what came up. And that's where my fear was. That was the entanglement and, and the anger and all that stuff. And I sat there and I was just like, really? Why? <laughs> right? And the message came through very clearly. You asked us to protect you. And we did. Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right. And then I got nosy. I'm like, why? Was this person like a creeper? You think? I don't know. They wouldn't tell me. But <laughs> probably not. But just not right for me. Very different intentions. So, you know, this is that wisdom and that beauty of what we see is going wrong in our lives. It being a protection. Or something that, you know, let's say I was going to have a deeper relationship with this person. Maybe we have very different paths. And one person was going to end up sacrificing in one way or another to back up the other person. Happens all the time. So, Jophiel. Meditate with Jophiel. Meditate with Archangel Gabriel. Come from that self-loving place and see the beauty in the things that you think are going wrong. All right? So, we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.